Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiends. So, two songs down, 17 more to go. I'm looking for that song that's going to really speak to me. You're going to get it. Did you get anything like that off Astro World? Well, I had a favorite song, yeah. Actually, I had a couple of favorite songs. I like the Astro Thunder. I like Coffee Bean. Yeah. Coffee Bean really was just like, that's my vibe. Uh, Coffee Bean, Astro Thunder, Houston Fornication. Wake Up. Actually, I like Carousel. Carousel. That's what I liked. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Coffee Bean was really my vibe. I like the Astro Thunder, though. All right. So, we got Modern Jam. Don't know what I'm going to get. Don't know what I'm going to get here. As always, please like, please subscribe so we can get more of these videos to you. Anything to say or are you just getting into it? I have no, I have, I have no expectations. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even know who's going to be on it. I love this, man. I love this. It's like I can actually look forward to something. It's a musical event. It's, it's not a, like, oh, what dropped? Yeah, I guess we got to pump some videos up for that one. <laughs> No, what am I gonna get next? It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. I, I don't think the viewers have ever seen the side of you, to be honest. All right, let's get it.
cannot wait for that to be over. I can tell. That, oh man, that's the Barry Bonds. That's Travis Scott's. I don't know how else this album's gonna go, but that's Barry Bonds. Um, if you don't know, Barry Bonds was one of the worst songs Kanye ever made. Um, that's his Barry Bonds. That was literally the only, Barry Bonds was the only song off Graduation that was just awful, just didn't fit everything else. Stronger Hot Girls. Oh, was that the one that was really bad too? Both of them were really bad, but I think Barry Bonds was a little bit better than Drunken Hot Girls. I think Drunken Hot Girls was worse, yeah, actually. That one was horrendous. Yeah. I can't believe that he put that on that album. Well, that's actually what I meant. This is his Drunken Hot Girls. And you, know what's pro- you know what the problem is? Is that it's not like it was actually bad. Because I could tell it was a lot of work was put into it. I could tell that Travis, I could tell Travis loved that song for some reason. It wasn't a begrudging. It wasn't begrudgingly put on there, but, bro, whatever was in your head, bro, I'm not saying it, bro. What the fuck was that? That's got to be some love for some piece of music from some time. I mean, Tizo touchdown. Who the fuck is that? Oh, he worked with. He worked with. What's his name? Tyler the Creator. Uh, he seems to be some weirdo artist. Um, I mean, he got a bunch of foreign niggas that probably don't speak English on this fucking beat. Niggas that work with Daft Punk, like, bro. I mean, he got Mike Dean, you know, that's why I'm, I could hear all the synthesizers and Moog basses and shit, but, man, that shit sucked. That shit really sucked, bro. I'm giving that shit, like, a three. Never want to hear that shit again. I never want to hear that shit again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, uh... For as long as I live, I don't think I'll ever need to listen to that again. Ever again, bro. I don't think I'll ever need to listen to that again. And like you said, you know, it sounded like it was well made, but like... The, the Annihilator! <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Just a trash sound, bro. Like 70s Why punk. Pita? Like 70s punk pop. Like, what the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> I'll never need to listen to that again. I think. I'm going to. I will. It's going out. It's getting added to my playlist. But well, why even add it to your playlist? I'm just gonna play the album from the top. He's right. I'm wrong. I'm just gonna listen that to shit, it. I never liked that shit. So I will listen to it again, but I really don't need to. I'm gonna give that a a three. Yeah, yeah. that's what I gave it. I give it a four. Look, man, I want to give it more points because it was done really well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But. No, that shit was awful. I mean, how much did I really dislike it? Like, it wasn't, like, agonizing. It, it was, was literally, like, oh, man, I can't wait for this to be done. Through, during the middle of it, I'm like, please tell me someone comes through and switches this up. They didn't. No, they did. No, no, but I'm thinking, like, switch up the beat. Everything. Oh, Everything okay. needs to go. My fault. Man, that was, that was a nothing. Modern Jam? Modern nothing. You were nothing, man. Fuck you. You got anything else to say about this? No. <laughs> Uninspiring. Uneventful. Sorry, t uh, That's what you gave on? And he's probably sitting there like, damn, this is what you want me on, bro? <laughs> Please put me on something lit. The nope. Annihilator! The Annihilator! Man, I wasted my time listening to that. No, I'll go. Either way, let us know what you think in the comment section. I think of every single person reacting to this album right now and then getting to this song. There's no way it could have went well. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> it's like, hell. I doubt it. It's Actually, like, look, I, I want to see... Academics, Kaisen Yeah, uh, I want to see Kaisen reaction. I, to I have to see it. And Academics. That shit would be hilarious. <laughs> no, that shit would be hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.